Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. And I'm joined here on the last day by Ahmed Raghi, who is the Executive Director for International Relations for the NTRA, the National Telecommunications Regulatory Agency of Egypt. Ahmed, welcome to the studio. Thank you a lot, Max. I'm very happy to be with you today. Now, let's talk a little bit about this conference. It's been a massive conference. It's been going on here for about uh, five weeks in total, if you count uh, the Radio Communication Assembly prior to this. And you guys have been really very much at the heart of the whole organization of it. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the challenges and the whole uh, setup, really, that uh, has been your life, I presume, for the last five weeks, but much more prior to that as well. Okay. Thank you a lot, Max. First of all, thank you a lot for having me today. And uh, as you mentioned, really, it's a long journey. Yes, we're here for uh, almost five weeks, but uh, the, all preparation, all arrangements for this huge event, one of the, I think, the biggest event for the IQ and one of the biggest event in the telecom sector, I think, in the last, for the last two years. Almost, we uh, starting from the date that the government of Egypt uh, submitted its request to receive the WRC event here in Sharm Sheikh for the first time for maybe in the last 20 years. Uh, normally, this event uh, used to be in the ITU headquarters in Geneva. But uh, uh, for a special occasion this time, you, we will have it here in, in, in Sharm el-Sheikh. Really, oh, uh, we, this is not only a challenge for the host country, it's always a challenge for the ITU, the staff itself, since it's the first time to have it outside Geneva for a long, long time. So we, oh, both of us worked very close together for the last two years uh, to discuss every detail about to transfer all the services, all the requirements of this event to, uh, to this convention center. Uh, actually, Max, uh, um, uh, the government of Egypt uh, uh, decided to uh, extend or to uh, give this marvelled city, Sharm el-Sheikh, a new dimension of touristic level. Uh, normally, people used to come here to enjoy their time for in the beach and uh, in the desert and the nightlife, but we decided to go for the domain of the uh, uh, conferences, uh, conferences hosting. So uh, uh, the government of Egypt decided to have a massive uh, renovation for this convention center and uh, uh, this convention center one of the biggest one in the Middle East area and maybe in the world and to give a, a huge renovation process in all aspects to could accommodate a huge conferences with uh, a very sophisticated uh, requirements this uh, process started in 2016 and uh, we uh, went through all this uh, uh, massive uh, renovation to the end, I think, about 2018, to accommodate the conference like the WRC or the biggest uh, UN conferences in, in the city of Sharm el-Sheikh. Now, uh, you're, you're regulators, so, I mean, in principle, you're not an events company, but however, you seem yeah, to have yeah, really yeah. taken this on board, and exactly. it's, uh, I mean, 3,000 people or more here. Yeah. Uh, this is, must have been a huge undertaking for you. Yes, you are completely correct, Max. It's, as I mentioned to you, it's, uh, uh, it was a country and a government uh, decision. Many stakeholders uh, involved in this event, uh, a lot of companies, a lot of vendors uh, work with the NTRA. Yes, we are telecom operator, we are a uh, small team uh, responsible about event hosting uh, uh, in certain specialities, but really we have a huge, uh, very uh, multi diverse uh, uh, organization and committee from all aspects, uh, governmental and also special uh, experts in, in various fields, uh, audio and video, security, catering, and uh, uh, medical, all, all aspects you, we, we may need in, uh, in hosting such mega events in, 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 in Sharm el-Sheikh. And we even have the, the president here. I sure, mean, uh, sure. is, that, is that usual? Does he usually give his blessing and his attendance to events Actually, like this? His Excellency, the president of Egypt, uh, uh, blessing a lot the, the hosting of this big event here in, in Sharm el-Sheikh. Uh, we, uh, we had the honor to uh, receiving him in the opening ceremony, and he really uh, uh, appreciated a lot all preparations from the host country and also for sure from the ITU side uh, to hosting this mega event. So as I told you, it's a government uh, focus to uh, bring this sort of a huge event to here in Egypt, here in Sharm el-Sheikh, and uh, uh, this vision to uh, transfer the city to hub to the uh, big conferences. What about the conference itself? How, how much do you think uh, the, the, the decisions that have been made here, the resolutions, uh, are going to affect Egypt and the region in general? 
Uh, for sure, the, the WRC is, I consider it as a campus for the, the technological development. This conference bring the bread and butter for the telecom makers. Uh, they can depend completely about what is going on here in this conference. This conference provides them with the main infrastructure, main uh, uh, backbone for their services, the frequency, the spectrum. We, today we are the last day and I hope everyone enjoyed the organizational side, but I believe also from the content side, the conference was very successful. We, uh, we uh, member states and all membership of the ITU uh, succeeded to reach consensus for a lot of resolutions for assure the regulations uh, that will uh, give the development of the market and 5G, IoT, uh, safety, safety uh, communications, uh, remote sensing, uh, a lot of issues that will uh, for sure use for the development of the for all human beings in the, in the world. Now, you are now a DAB candidate. You're an expert, I would say, probably having gone through this entire process. For anybody thinking about hosting a, a very large <laughs> event like this, what would you say are the major challenges? What would you say are the things that you should really look out for and think about before embarking on this? First of all, teamwork. For sure, we, we need to be a very close teamwork not only from uh, host country side and ITU side, and all partners should work in a very, very close teamwork. Uh, 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 concrete, reliable co uh, communication channels uh, designed very clear from the first and first days of the organization. It should be very clear who uh, the credibility and accountability for each item of this event and uh, for sure that we work very close I mean, as I mentioned the ITU and we start to itemize every aspect of the hosting and to decide about every focal point every communication channel this is very important point uh, second thing that we went a lot of rehearsal about a lot of discussion uh, and inspection missions to ensure that everything in order this is also one I think um, a main issue for the uh, successful uh, organization for for this event and the other channel that the professional and uh, fast response for all uh, challenges during the hosting. For sure, we, 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 this event is a f almost 50 day or five weeks event. During this hosting, for sure, we face some challenges, uh, some, some problems. The issue that we should have the fast response, uh, accurate response, and we be sure that there is no chance to have this problem to have it again. This is also very important. The response for the uh, challenges it should be very, uh, uh, very fast very professional and, and, uh, and to ensure that we will not see that again. I think this is also one of the very important aspects for the successful organization of this event. I was going to say nothing has been too much effort. You've even had uh, golf buggies uh, taking people <laughs> around this venue. It is, it's a large venue, uh, 846 yeah. uh, meters uh, from one, yes. one, one side of the venue to the other. I've even taken advantage of those and, and done a few interviews in them as well. Yeah, yeah. But I uh, just uh, really wanted to, to thank you very much for hosting us here. Do you think that you will be looking at uh, doing another event? Uh, on the back of this? Yes, for sure. I think this is only the start and we look forward for many big mega events in Sharm Sheikh. Good. Well, I wish you the very best of luck with that and thank, thank you, you very much once again for thank joining you. us in the studio and, uh, and for having us here in the wonderful Sharm Sheikh. Thank you a lot, Max. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.